My name is Samuel Aaron Ward, and I'm an electrical engineer and a recent graduate of the West Virginia University Institute of Technology. What I'm going to show you here is a, uh, a project that I did. And it wasn't my own project, but it was for a friend who, uh, this was for a, an embedded systems class, and he decided to design an MP3 player. Uh, so he came to me and said, uh, Aaron, I have this design for an MP3 player, but I don't know how to make the printed circuit board for it, and I, I need your help. So I said, sure, and he gave me his circuit design, uh, just drawn out on a piece of paper, and I took it home and uh, used a, a free program off the internet called PCB123 to lay out the, uh, the artwork for the circuit. And uh, it, it took me quite a bit of time just to study his circuit design. And I didn't design it, and I don't know uh, if it works or not, but uh, I've sat down and studied his design uh, to find the best way to lay this out on a double-sided circuit board. And then I went to town with designing it, and I'll show you, I'll show it to you here. Okay, this is it. It was a little bit nicer originally. Uh, I had a nice plexiglass cover over it with the, uh, there was an on-off switch here, toggle switch with a power indicator light and everything. Uh, now what this project uses is uh, an evaluation board which has the Motorola 68HC12 microprocessor, uh, which talks serially to the project, uh, to the circuit board here. And uh, now I couldn't tell you everything that's uh, on here. I'm not even sure what these chips are right here. Uh, I know that this is an MP3 decoder. Uh, here's a uh, crystal oscillator for a timer and a sprinkling of capacitors and inductors and resistors and all those kinds of things. Uh, it has both a uh, surface mount and through hole packages. Uh, there's another surface mount, uh, I think that's a D to A converter on the back with a couple capacitors and a uh, SD card reader right there. Uh, in the end, the, the MP3 player did not work. Uh, here's a little audio jack for uh, headphone output. Uh, but it did read the files from the SD card, uh, the MP3 files, the names of the songs, and the songs themselves. Uh, so that is that. Uh, the Motorola 68HC12 is programmed with uh, assembly code, which, uh, which my friend and I both worked on the code there. So uh, that's the project. Uh, and I think this uh, was one of the most complicated uh, printed circuit boards I had made. And I'll, I'll tell you real quick. Uh, the process. What I do is I do the circuit board artwork on the computer and then I print it out with the top. It's double sided. So I take the top and I mirror it so that when it's ironed on to the board uh, it's oriented correctly. Uh, also uh, it's, I, t I print it out and then I Xerox it on the darkest setting to get as much toner as possible onto the copies and uh, then after that is finished, uh, I take the copies of the printed board, circuit board uh, artwork and I iron them onto a piece of double-sided copper clad uh, substrate board. And, uh, and then after I've ironed them on, I etch them with a chemical called ferric chloride, uh, which I make at home with uh, muriatic acid and hydrogen peroxide. All it is is pool cleaner and some eight, uh, hydrogen peroxide. So uh, after you etch it, which e eats away all the copper except for uh, uh, what is covered by the toner that you iron on the circuit design, and then after after it's etched, I will go through with my digital multimeter and check for continuity uh, and breaks in continuity where there should be. Uh, you know, between traces and pads and vias and all this. Uh, then uh, I hand drill all 205 holes that are on this circuit board. And I even took a Dremel and went back and cleaned it up. And uh, then I put all the components on, soldered them on. Uh, this was my first experience with the surface mount.
opponents, but did a good job, uh, no problems there. And uh, then it was left up to my friend to make it work. And I think he had a few problems with the, uh, um, I think his voltage regulator, he, I think he burned up a zener diode and had to replace that. And he, had, he has some more work to do on it, but he asked me for a favor and I did it.